everybody, it's April. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and watch this video or any of my other videos. I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are my day ones that are watching this, I just want to say I thank you. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning back in to all my videos. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. You do not know how much it means to me to see your comments and uh, everything that you guys, all the love and the support you guys give me, it just keeps me going. So thank you guys very much. So if you have read the title, then you should already know what this video is going to be about. Yes, this is going to be a GED talk video, but this time, you know, I know I did a previous video on me talking about um how I passed my language arts GED test and how that went and my backstory and all that good stuff and I have gotten so much love and comments and oh my gosh from that one video it's just so amazing to me because I never thought in a million years anybody would care about me getting my GED or how I did so to everyone and I'm telling you if you are watching this and you have comment comment on that last video man I just want to say thank you guys so much I read every single comment I try to respond back to every single comment to the ones that are in that comment box that are telling me how they passed and how they are going back to school and trying to get their GED I just say keep going keep striving keep keep focusing tunnel vision you can do this if I can do it I know you can do it so that's just what I want to say about that previous GED video that I did post. If you have not seen that video, I definitely will link that video down in my description box below. So go ahead and check that video out. But I did pass my language arts GED test. Um, and I can say that, you know, doing that test, it was for me, language arts and reading to me are like my best subjects. So when I did do that test, it was it was pretty easy. Um, it was a little challenging a little bit, but it was still easy. It wasn't something that I couldn't pass. And one thing I've learned is that when I pray before I go into my test and I ask my Heavenly Father to protect me and to guide my hands to the right answers if I don't know, I always come out and I pass my test. So with that being said, if you want to know more about how I passed my language arts GED, then go down and click the uh, link to that video down in that description box below. But this video is going to be how I passed my GED science test. Now, oh my gosh, I started, let's, let's go into how I um, started to study for the GED science. So before I took the test, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I don't really like science because I feel like science is like math. So I felt like it was going to be very challenging. But as I started to really study and started to learn about different types of science and uh, photosynthesis and DNA and all that stuff, it became like kind of easy to me. So first things first. Um, I did start using my book. If you have not seen this book before, then you already know what you need to do. Look at the previous video. But this book right here really did help me a lot when I was doing my GED um, science. What I would do is I would go to my printer. I would scan like the pages and the lessons in that particular section in the science section and I literally would just read the paragraphs, read what they had and answer the questions and then I would go to the back of the book and check my answers because in the back of this book they give you explanations on what was the answer and why it wasn't the answer. So that's very important about this book, you know, so I'm telling you, it really is a good book. It really does give you the answers and it really tell you exactly why it was that particular answer. So that's what I would do. I would just go to my printer, scan all the lessons, 
everything in that particular section and I would just go and do it on my own. I would not go to the back of the book and look at the answers. I would literally do the answers first and surprise, I would go to the back of the book and I would probably only get one out of six you know what I'm saying? So I was like kind of being more confident. I'm like, wow, well, if I can, you know, do these little lessons that's already in the book and make 100% on them or be on them, I feel like I can do this. So I kept going more and more and excuse the cats that are around here. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all must have heard that, but excuse these cats that be around this neighborhood. But, um, <laughs> but once I started to do more of, you know, the practice tests that were in the book and printing them out and scanning them, that's when I took it a step further and I would go on Google and I would look up um, what is photosynthesis, uh, what is DNA, I would do definitions. That's important as well. The definitions that come in the sections that you're going to read um, as far as life science and all that stuff. I literally wrote down all the definitions in those sections and I would just read the definitions and, and learn the definitions and learn what these words were. And that's also what helped me to understand more about science, life science and photosynthesis and all that stuff, the body. So that is what I was doing. I also did further research by going on Google, looking up what is a clodogram. Um, if I'm saying that wrong, please excuse me. I'll put like a picture up here or something so you guys can see what a clodogram is. It's like how you tell the relationships uh, between the animals. Uh, but that is also what I had to do as well. So, you know, when you do get on the test, when you do take your GED test, and it's time to take the test. Well, before I go into that, I did do my GED ready. I always do a GED ready. It does not matter what I'm doing. I always do some type of GED ready test, meaning the practice test before the actual real test. Um, I always do that on my website, www.ged.com. I log in, take my test, and by my surprise, I had got a 151 which was amazing for me. Just taking that little GED ready test, I had got a 151. So I already knew like, okay, let me study a little bit more, but I know I got this. So um, it is 38 questions. My test was 38 questions. Okay. They do, it's like 90 minutes. So it's like an hour and some change. And I'm telling you, like when I got on the test, it was like straight, like it just starts off like reading. You have to read. They did, if I could remember, they did ask me questions about photosynthesis. It is math. They asked you about the mean. Um, they might have some questions about the median and stuff like that where you have to calculate a lot of things. Mass, um, volume, all that stuff. It, it is math incorporated in it. I'm going to let you know that right now. Um... Let me see what else they were talking about. They definitely were talking about um, like the daughter sales. Um, I can't really think of the word. Um, I'll leave it up here somewhere that relates to daughter sales and all that stuff like that. But you will have to go through life science, which is like um, photosynthesis, the human body systems, just practice all that. Uh, reproduction and hereditary, very important. They're definitely going to ask you questions on this, if you guys can see that. And I also will put a picture up as well um, about genes and dominant genes and recessive genes. They will ask you guys um, about that. DNA, they will ask you guys about um, like food webs, food chains. They will give you like one question on that. Um, to be honest, like these are like food chains and like food webs and stuff like that. If you guys can see, they will ask you questions on that and uh, about the earth. They will ask you that too. But I will say, and they will ask you about weather and climate. And they do give you a lot of graphs and 
you know, graphs and stuff that you have to analyze the data. And those are, for me, those are pretty hard, but I got through it. Okay. And I made it through. So, you know, I just look at it as this, you know, we can study as much as we want to, but there is going to be something on the test that is going to have you like, hold up, wait a minute. But I just, this is what I say. Process of elimination and common sense. That's how I view any test. Common sense and process of elimination. If you don't know it, pick the best answer that makes sense. That's just how it goes. Because you don't want to stay too long on a particular question. That's all I'm saying. Don't ever stay long. If you don't know it, flag for review. It's like a button that they're going to have on the test that says flag for review. And go back to it if you have more time left. If you get done like me, I got done. Who I was, I, I had, I had like 18 minutes left, and I was already done. 